Welcome back to all of you. In this video, you will be learning one of interesting topic of chapter 4 of your 11th class geography and the chapter name is distribution of oceans and continent. So let's start this video and our today's topic is continental drift. Before going to start this topic, let's understand the very important things about this topic that the continents cover only 29% of the surface of the earth and rest is under the oceanic water means 71%. And what is Pangaea and what is Penthalassa? Let's understand this. Pangaea, it is also known as supercontinent when all the present continent, right now we are having 7 major continents, are in single continent mass was named after Pangaea and what is Penthalassa now? The Penthalassa is the supercontinent which is Pangaea was surrounded by the mega ocean which is called Penthalassa and which mean all water. Now let's understand this continental drift theory in a very simple manner. After observing the shape of the coastal line of the Atlantic Ocean, you will be surprised by the symmetry of the coastal line of either side of the Atlantic Ocean. Many scientists as well as the geologists came to know the symmetry of the coastal line of Atlantic Ocean and it was first Abraham Ortelis, a Dutch map maker who was firstly proposed this theory in 1596 and then Alfred Wegener who was a German metallurgist gave the continental drift theory in the year of 1912. Actually, this continental drift theory is all about the distribution of ocean and continents. According to Wegener, when all the continents were compact in a single continent mass is known as Pangaea or supercontinent which means all earth. And this supercontinent was surrounded by the huge water or huge oceanic water which is also known as Penthalassa which means all water. Then he argued that around 200 or more than 250 million years ago the Pangaea had split by the plate tectonic or continental drift theory. Firstly, it break into two large bodies such as Laurasia and Gondwana land which is forming the northern and southern component or hemisphere respectively. In Laurasia, it consisted North America, European country and Asian whereas in the Gondwana land it comprises the South America, Africa, Australia and Antarctica. After Mesozoic era, these continents are continue to break in a very small small continents still and according to Wegener, this Drifting has not stopped yet means it is still continuing and one of the important point I just want to add in this topic that initially the split tectonic theory or the continental drift theory was not accepted by various scientists, geologists and geographers. However, now it has been established by the theory of plate tectonic theory. Now continents are moving as the plate move on a liquid surface. So student, if this topic is understood to you, please like this video and subscribe this channel for the upcoming important topics. Thanks for watching.